Okay, let's get started. The first step is to find my company's workspace. To do this, I will click Find My Return Safe Space. When it asks me to enter my workspace code, I will enter in the code I was provided during the onboarding process. When I enter the code, I will be brought to my company's workspace. In my case, the company workspace is return safe and their logo allows me to recognize the space. The organization may also customize the logo according to their preferences. If you enter into a workspace that is not your organization's, you may click below on not your company to be rerouted to the correct company workspace. Once I have found my company space, I will log in through the phone sign-in process. I will enter in my full name, my email address, and my phone number. The information I enter during the phone sign-in process will also be added to my user information in the biosecurity portal. Users should enter in their current mobile phone number as they will be sent a verification code. When I'm sent a verification code, I'll enter it into the application and then I'll click verify. The next steps after initial login will guide me through the application features. The first thing I will see is work together safely. This screen informs me that my employer is using return safe services to protect me and my fellow employees from infectious disease. To learn more, I will click the see how button. I see that my company has asked Return Safe to generate daily workplace recommendations, advising me to check in and providing recommendations on whether or not I should report to work, and I click Next. At this screen, I see the personal logbook where I can make manual entries of my close contacts to help my organization provide alerts of potential on-site exposures. For this feature, I will allow notification. Once I've passed these screens, I will be asked to begin the check-in process. The default screening question set that users will receive is consistently updated according to CDC guidelines and with the supervision of our Chief Medical Officer, Dr. Reef Gillum. Our goal is to help your organization stay on top of the latest COVID-19 guidance. To show you what a day in the life of a user would look like, I will take you through a few different screening scenarios within the application. Let's take you through a few different check-in situations you may go through in the morning before you report to work. The first scenario I will show is if I checked into the application and received a recommendation to come to work. I'll show you what the question flow would look like. As you can see, based on the responses I've provided, I've received a recommendation to come to work, which lets me know that I've been cleared to report to my office or work site. Now that I've screened into the application, I will be able to see my most recent recommendation. Administrators will be able to see that I've checked in and I can show my clear to come to work pass to security before I enter my office if needed. What would happen if I reported differently today? What if I had symptoms of COVID-19? Because I reported symptoms of COVID-19, the application suggests that I work from home. The default recommendation I receive is to please work from home or take sick leave and get tested for COVID-19 if I haven't already. Additionally, folks who are immunocompromised are recommended to see a physician. How would the question set change if I tested positive for COVID-19? I will take you through that workflow now. Based on my report into the application, I have received the recommendation to work from home because I've tested positive for COVID-19. The application says to stay home and if I'm able, work from home. Another feature we have in our application is the logbook. Within the logbook, users can enter in the employees who they've been in close contact with. They can do this from the check-in or from the logbook screen. Let's walk through what the process looks like for entering a contact. As you can see, I've entered in my contact and can customize the date and time range when we last interacted. I'll click confirm and log and my logged contact will be confirmed. Administrators will be able to utilize this information for contact tracing purposes. And if I click to the upper right corner, I can see my recent contacts. 
As you can see, our user-friendly application is designed to optimize safety and well-being for you and the employees at your workplace. The features have been created by experts in the field of medicine and app development to ensure the best outcomes for your organization. 